Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. This is Todd with Industrial Comfort. Now today's video is a little unfortunate because I shouldn't really have to be making it. Now I've got a set of pin jaws made by Technotool and generally when you buy an accessory from a manufacturer for their own stuff it should just work and I'm getting a ton of run out from these pin jaws. And pin jaws are essentially jaws that you can swap onto your chuck that will allow you to turn smaller diameter work pieces. Now, I've read in the forums that a lot of people have had difficulty with these particular jaws, much like I do. And so, when I called Technotool, they more or less told me the wobble or the runout that I was experiencing was pretty much normal, which as far as I'm concerned is a bit unacceptable. Um, so I'm going to throw this on the lathe so you can see what the wobble looks like and then I'm going to show you a trick to correct that run out. Okay, before I turn the lathe on, I'm going to attest that the chuck runs true, that the insert is fully seated into the body of the chuck, and that the assembly is fully seated against the flange of the headstock. I'm also going to attest that this brass tube we're going to use for demonstration purposes is also true. So I'm going to turn the lathe on so you can see the run out that I get. That is pretty bad, especially if you want to do any detail or precision oriented work, which I would think is exactly what this type of pin jaw is designed for. So I'm going to remove this chuck from the headstock here and I'm going to show you how we're going to correct this problem. So. Let me show you an observation I made as it relates to the base plate of these jaws. Now, when they're tightened, look at the gaps that you have here and here, as opposed to here and here. So clearly, there's an issue with alignment. And with these base plates for pin jaws, because they're smaller, and unlike regular jaws, they only have one set of screws. So in order to fix the wobble, what I'm going to do is loosen these up and I'm going to take my time to ensure that these are aligned as closely as possible. To eliminate any unequal gaps. Okay, you see that? See how equal the gaps are? There's a, there's a little, I'm gonna make a little bit of an adjustment here. And for the most part, this is all sealed up and it looks fairly equal between plates. So let's put this back on the lathe and see what it does to the run out. Okay, with the chuck remounted and the base plates of this pin jaw repositioned, I'm going to turn the lathe back on. Look at how much better that is. Pretty amazing that Technotool did not know how to make this recommendation. I wish Technotool had just told me from the beginning that all I would need to do was a few micro adjustments to the base plates of these pin jaws. Sadly, it sounds like they didn't even know. So nonetheless, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.